Tagajata, Tinka Puzia Vantengo, Mogomedon Quayangana, there's a more positive position bigger than the wind. Ramabuan Vula, the Masia Mapuzilla, to Gutau Matel and Magas was in that. Comajagaji no Rambo Puzil and Caras. Before the clinic was constructed, the community used to travel uh, 30 kilometers to 14 kilometers to access health services. It so happened that at a time that uh, a woman was in labor, because of distance from here to Lungobe Health Center, she had to deliver on the way. So that's how the community now had to come out and uh, decide to have their own clinic here as well. CVA in Pile Hutseba, Katutuzak. Hutseba, Kawe Emobaka, Kahari Humuti. Hutseba, Emobana, Bau Kipira Lebona Kahari Humuti. We have seen communities articulating their rights and corresponding responsibilities, citizens working closely with elected representatives, with the government officials to ensure that people affected by poverty have access to quality services in health and education. In World Vision, we have a model that we use for social accountability that we call Citizen Voice and Action, a program that seeks to bring together different actors, development and governance actors in one place to discuss development challenges and they collectively find creative ways of resolving collective action uh, failures. Where CVA is operating, I've seen community actively involved in most of the health activities that we have run to the, in the community. I've equally seen that there is a lot of demand from the community themselves on a number of programs that sometimes we have not brought, but they have come to our offices to demand for what they feel belongs to them. There was a little bit of fear, so what is coming in? And uh, maybe now we are going to have a lot of pressure coming from the parents. But then we saw the advantages that uh, actually it is making things easier for us as uh, people are more informed then they give more, more support to what you are doing. CVA is a milestone that helps governments to link with the communities. CVA is one a vehicle that uplifts the participation of the communities in lawmaking and policy making and service delivery. We want communities to lead these processes. It should not be us in the forefront. Communities should be encouraged, supported, but they run with the program. And in a way, that also be a test of our sustainability. We are taken through a CVA concept, which involves uh, how we can uh, sensitize people on the importance of knowing their rights, on the importance of understanding the policies as a CVA committee. After being taken through such workshops or trainings, we came back here because at the end of the day, it is our development. I never knew that I was going to be a CVA. 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 I was going to be a we know where we are going, we have a message and we know what we are doing. The relationship now is good, we can move to any, any a government institution, we can talk, we can dialogue. Besides citizens articulating their rights and responsibilities, we have seen deployment of qualified staff to rural health facilities, to health centers, to hospitals, to schools. We have seen construction of additional infrastructure. Expectant mothers were walking from that community to the nearest clinic, which was about 40, 45 k's. Some of them were delivering on their way to the nearest health center. And we had a lot of you know, people that were not even making it. So some of the sicknesses were being attended to when they were in a critical situation. 
because people could not afford it to go to the nearest clinic in the shortest possible time. So it is from that perception that we had a public meeting when the community themselves came up with an initiative of having that health post. So it is from there where they had to commit themselves as a community, they had to give themselves tasks, and they started now rolling out. They came to this, to this district health office, and that's how the Minister of Health came in to support them later, after they had rolled out their own initiative as a community. We were able to renovate and build clinics, now we have 135. So those clinics are meant to provide access to healthcare in the community. Tira wana basukuru bano, wana karamoti timizana, tira wana uri profuna bano rada ni tumanga yani, tumanga school. Bora wanziga, tumanga blogo yu, ife yu kari magolo, ife yu mafaku kumi. Wana sati puzira jani, pabu yu. Our desks have been provided in schools, the books. We are enjoying and we are seeing the benefits whereby the children are now able to read and write and the passing rate in schools, it's high. And those children that were uh, just rooming in the villages, they are now in school reading and writing. In several areas. Uh, we can start with Lesotho. We have seen the development of policies, making sure that uh, children are protected. The CVAT members from all the 10 districts of Lesotho developed the bylaws. So the bylaws were used by the consultant to develop the initiation school bill. So as we are talking now, we are in the process to lobby for enactment of the bill so that we have the, the act that will be governing the initiation school in the suit. We cannot expect change overnight, but because of tireless efforts of our staff and their partners, including government and other entities who have worked closely with our staff, we have seen that that institution is slowly being transformed. I'm just um, calling World Vision to come now and we sit down and pay the way forward now as to uh, how are we going to implement this uh, program countrywide because for sure it is uh, a good thing to do. If we involve the government who happens to be our facilitators and we, we engage them from the onset and we are running with them, even after World Vision has gone, the government will be able to continue running with these activities. But above all, the most important component or actors are the committee members themselves. Involving them, giving them information, you know, giving them the ability to communicate, giving them a voice, you know, that will lead into action is the best way in which we can be able to sustain a project such as CVA. The communities themselves are still continuing taking up CVA activities, even uh, without involvement of World Vision. And uh, with that, to assure that there's sustainability, because all the key people are taking the project forward. Even, you know, in a way of just having knowledge, I have knowledgeable enough that there's no one who can, who can come to me, cheat me, tell me that. This time I'm able to stand for people, advocate for people, and see what you want at the end of the day, as a community at the end.